what we experience as reality is totally dependent on our state of consciousness. Consciousness conceives, governs, constructs, and becomes the world you experience. Consciousness makes experience possible. This experience could be mental, such as thoughts, feelings, emotions, images, and imagination, or it could be perceptual, as in experiencing the world and our relationships. At a fundamental level, the mechanisms of mental and perceptual experience are identical in consciousness. You only experience that which you are aware of, and you are aware of only that which you pay attention to. To create reality as an experience, we use our brain. And the biology is different in different states of consciousness. Let's take the three levels of consciousness familiar to all of us, deep sleep, dreams, and waking state. When we are fast asleep, even though we may not be consciously aware, awareness remains. If someone pinches you or makes a loud noise or screams that your house is burning, you respond. A mother can remain aware of her baby's needs even when she's fast asleep. Deep sleep creates its own biology and its own reality. Similarly, the dream state creates its reality. If I dreamt last night that I was playing golf at Pebble Beach with Clint Eastwood, that state was real to me when I was dreaming. Only after I woke up did I realize that it was just a dream and that Pebble Beach or Clint Eastwood were projections of my own consciousness. Now, as you sit in front of your computer and watch this, I presume you are in the waking state of consciousness and I also presume that you assume that this is the real reality. However, I will say to you that it seems real because you're in it, just like the dream was real when you were in the dream. The fourth state of consciousness is known in wisdom traditions as soul consciousness. When in the midst of the observation, you become aware of yourself as the observer. Right now, as you're listening and observing me on your screen, turn your attention to your observing self. Who is listening? Who is watching? And as you do that right now, you will become aware of a presence or silent witness, which is your core consciousness, referred to in spiritual traditions as your soul. As you cultivate awareness of awareness, reality will shift for you through the opening of the doors of intuition, insight, creativity, and synchronicity. The fifth state of consciousness is known as cosmic consciousness. In spiritual traditions, this is to be in the world, but not of it. The silent witnessing awareness that you previously knew as your soul wakes up in waking, dreaming, and sleeping. So even as your body and mind are in the dream and sleep state, you observe them as a silent witness from a non-local perspective. And there is the deep insight that your body and mind are roles you play. But you're not your body-mind. You're the alert witness whose destiny is to play an infinity of roles. The sixth state of consciousness is called divine consciousness, in which you observe the universal in the particular. There is the story of Buddha's disciple, Ananda, who was looking at a rose, and he smiled at the Buddha, and the Buddha smiled back. And that was the end of the sermon. And all the disciples went to Ananda. They said, we saw a rose. What did you see? And Ananda said, I saw the rose, but I also saw sunshine and earth and water and rainbows and stars and galaxies and the infinite void. I saw the whole universe stopping along the way, pretending to be a flower. This is universal consciousness in a local object of perception. And finally, there's the state of consciousness referred to as unity consciousness, where there is the merging of the personal witness with the universal witness. When you see the whole universe, including all of nature, stars and galaxies, as your own extended body, you realize then that you have a personal body and a universal body, and they are both equally yours. This is the state of enlightenment where your inner being radiates passion, love, and ecstasy. Would you like to go there with me?